morning all. It's Tuesday, so we get nine games tonight in the NHL. So the schedule's getting a little more balanced than what it was a couple weeks ago, so a little easier to follow. We got four games starting at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Half an hour later, one more. Half an hour later, another. Half an hour later, another. And then we've got the two late games on the West Coast. So, starting off with 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, the Chicago Blackhawks. In against the New Jersey Devils is the first of two meetings. They'll meet again on April 1st. Uh, for the Chicago Blackhawks, they're 7, 13, and 4 on the season. Their last 10 games, they are 1, 8, and 1. So, not not great, but the effort's there. Domi's been excellent. 9 goals, 10 assists, 19 points. Uh, I think he's had a nice resurgence in Chicago. And Kane, 4 goals, 16 assists, 20 points. Continues to put up the points. How long he's in Chicago? Anybody's guess. On the New Jersey side, they're 24-1. And, and their record is the opposite of Chicago's. It's 8-1-1. One one. So, is this a trap game? We'll see. Uh, Jesper Bratt, 9 goals, 18 assists, 27 points for him. Of course, he had a, a new team record point streak to start the season. Uh, and Dawson Mercer, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. Excellent play from him lately. We'll see what happens tonight. Also at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, the Columbus Blue Jackets and against the Pittsburgh Penguins. On October 22nd, Pittsburgh won the first meeting 6-3. Uh, the games between Columbus and Pittsburgh seem to often involve a lot of goals and some big switches in, in terms of momentum. Uh, the third and fourth meetings between these teams will be March 7th and April the 13th. Columbus is 8-13-2. Over their last 10 games, they're 4-4-2. Four, four Johnny Goudreau, 8 goals, 18 assists, 26 points. The point totals have been going up lately, uh, as, as they have for Boone Jenner as well. 9 goals, 9 assists, 18 points. The question being, can they win games often enough to really and truly get themselves back into the hunt? And then on the Pittsburgh side, they're 13-8-4. Their last 10 games, they're 7-2-1, so they're playing well. Malkin... Uh, who yesterday was reported to be sick and might not play, but 8 goals, 16 assists, 24 points for Malkin. They were saying the same of Crosby, too. So if both of them are out, you might want to take Columbus in this. Uh, Rust, 6 goals, 8 assists, 14 points. Finally gets away from the 5 goals, 5 assists. And now that he's had a big game, maybe he's due for another. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the Detroit Red Wings and the Tampa Bay Lightning, the first of four meetings. They'll meet again December 21st, February 25th, and April 13th. On the D Detroit side, they're 12-7-5. Their last 10 games, they're 5-3-2. Uh, Dominic Kubalik, 10 goals, 14 assists, 24 points. Has again been excellent. Uh, Raymond, 7 goals, 8 assists, 15 points for him. Uh, excellent numbers overall. On the Tampa Bay side, they're 15-8-1. Their last 10 games, they're 8-2. So Tampa Bay playing very, very well. Uh, Stamkos, 13 goals, 16 assists, 29 points. And Sergachev, 4 goals, 19 assists for 23 points. So Tampa Bay's firing in all cylinders again for Detroit. Uh, this is a tough part of the schedule. It's a good test for an up-and-coming team, though. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific start between the LA Kings and the Ottawa Senators in the second and final meeting already. November 27th, Ottawa went into LA and won 3-2 in overtime. So we'll see if LA can get their revenge tonight. 13-10-4 is the record for LA. Their last 10 games are 3-4-3. So not the kind of record they want to have. Uh, Gabe Velarde, 13 goals, 6 assists, 19 points. He's definitely cooled off from the hot start, but 13 goals is still good. Uh, Trevor Moore, 7 goals, 10 assists, 17 points. One of their more dangerous forwards. We'll see if he gets one tonight. On the Ottawa side, they're 10, 13, and 1. Their last 10 games are 5 and 5. Of course, they have to keep winning, right? Uh, they, they seem to have gotten their momentum turned around. Um, I've already started to see a couple in the media saying, yeah, this, this could be a sign that, you know, Ottawa's ready to really get on a roll here. We'll see. And it's being spearheaded by Brady Kachuk. 12 goals, 17 assists, 29 points for Kachuk, and he really is leading this team in all ways. Uh, Giroux, 11 goals, 12 assists, 23 points, has been a very good steadying presence among the forwards as well. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific start between the St. Louis Blues and the New York Islanders. The Islanders won this first meeting November 3rd by a score of 5-2. to two. So St. Louis looking for some measure of revenge and to turn things around. They're 11-14. and 14. Their last 10 games, they are 4-6. St. Louis right now is in danger of falling completely out of the hunt. Uh, even though in the West it's a more mediocre record that will get you in the playoffs, still, if they go to 11-15 and 15 after tonight, they're making it more difficult on themselves. 
Uh, Kairou, 10 goals, 11 assists, 21 points for him. Uh, O'Reilly's been picking it up lately from the goal-scoring perspective. He's got 8 goals to go with 4 assists and 12 points. On the Islanders' front, they are 16-10. and 10. Their last 10 games, they are 6-4. and 4. Barzell, 3 goals, 24 assists, 27 points. Uh, has been really prominent in their games uh, just really throughout the season. Uh, Anders Lee, 8 goals, 12 assists, 20 points for him. And for the Islanders, it really is a four-line attack and excellent goaltending and really solid defense. So St. Louis is up against it tonight. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific start between the Florida Panthers and the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, so wearing Florida, sure, we'll take Florida in this one. The next meeting will be March the 11th. Florida seems to be picking it up. Uh, 12, 9, and 4, and they seem to be getting better. The record of their last 10, 4, 3, and 3, is mediocre. Uh, they're looking to change that storyline. Kachuk, 12 goals, 22 assists, 34 points, has been their best player. Uh, Verhege, 14 goals, 8 assists, 22 points, has been arguably their best goal scorer. And I guess it's arguably Kachuk's their best player since, you know, Barkov's there and he exists. On the Winnipeg front, they're 15, 7, and 1. Their last 10 games are 7 and 3. They're playing quite well. Although the consistency over 60 minutes has been elusive. Uh, Wheeler, 7 goals, 15 assists, 22 points. Has had a much better season than I think was expected. And Morrissey has been absolutely fantastic. 5 goals, 21 assists, 26 points. That's ridiculous in 23 games for Morrissey. Who I think had 37 points last year for a career high. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say he beats that this year. Uh, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific start for the game between Toronto and Dallas. On October 20th, Toronto won this meeting in overtime, 3-2. to two. This is, of course, a meeting between teams that have guys on point streaks. For the Leafs, they're 15-5-6. Their last 10 games, they're 7-0-3. Oh, they have not lost in regulation in their last 10. Marner, 10 goals, 21 assists, 31 points, going for an even 20 games in his point streak. Uh, William Nylander, 14 goals, 12 assists for 26 points. Has been very good for Toronto this year. On the Dallas front, 14, 6, and 5. So their record's very similar to that of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, last 10 games, they're 5, 1, and 4. So they're getting plenty of overtime points as well, which is a, kind of a Dallas uh, feature over the last few years. Uh, Robertson, 23 goals, 18 assists, 41 points. He's looking to get his point streak to an even, or to 19 games, I think he's going for tonight. Um, I think Marner's one game ahead of him. Pavelski, 10 goals, 18 assists, 28 points. Just on pace for a career-best season at, at, at a very old age for getting a career-best season. But I guess playing with Robertson and Hintz has really been uh, the elixir needed for Joe Pavelski. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Anaheim Ducks. The second meeting will be on February the 25th. Uh, for Carolina, they're 14, 6, and 5, so same record as Dallas. Last 10 games, they're 5, 1, and 4. Svechnikov, 15 goals, 10 assists, 25 points. Uh, Jarvis, 5 goals, 7 assists for 12 points. Jarvis has been picking it up lately offensively. Uh, Svechnikov is, is just looking like he wants to have a 50-goal season. It's just time. Uh, on the Anaheim front, things have been tough. 6, 17, and 3 overall. Last 10 games, they are 1, 7, and 2. There's a reason I had them on the tough-to-watch list. Troy Terry's been fun to watch, though. 11 goals, 15 assists, 26 points for him. And Zegers, the effort is there. Uh, the points totals may not be adding up to where some of the prognosticators had him. But at 9 goals, 13 assists for 22 points, that's not bad. That's a pretty good second year. And so we'll see how that development continues for the Ducks. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start for the Montreal Canadiens in against Seattle. This could be interesting. So the second meeting will be in Montreal on January 9th. You have Montreal coming off of a 7-6 overtime loss. You have Seattle, who within a week uh, had a game that was a 9-8 overtime win. So 12-11, 13-12, maybe 15-14. I might not be able to take very many notes under this game. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens are 12-11-2. Their last 10 games are 4-5-1. Suzuki, 14 goals, 14 assists, 28 points. Has, again, had a very good year. Dodonov has been picking it up lately. He's had a goal and an assist over, I think it's their last two games. He's at two goals, two assists. It's not a joke. I have Dodonov on there. I honestly think he's been playing better. And if his scoring starts to go up, that means Montreal would be able to, to probably find a taker for him at the trade deadline. 
On the Seattle side, 15-6-3 and three is their, their overall record. Their last 10 games, they're 7-2-1. and one. They just had their seven-game winning streak broken. They're going to be trying to start a new one. Eberle has quietly had a good year himself. Six goals, 16 assists, 22 points for Eberle. And Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn has been quite the scorer lately with four goals, 12 assists for 16 points. So another defenseman not necessarily known for points, and he's getting them. So let me know your winners in the comment section below for all nine of these games. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.